Hi, Jack Cush coming to you from the ACR booth here in Atlanta. The ACR 2019 meeting's been a great one. Saw a fine presentation by Dr. Dan Solomon Monday afternoon about the toxicity of methotrexate. His data was drawn from a very large trial that you're familiar with, the CIRT trial, C-I-R-T, published in the New England Journal last year. This is a trial of methotrexate, not in rheumatoids or arthritic patients, but in patients at risk for cardiovascular disease. So it was a trial that actually looked at whether or not methotrexate would lower the risk of cardiovascular events in patients who are at risk, diabetics, hypertensive, hypertensives, those who are obese. So they, in a high risk population, they gave methotrexate or placebo, no other DMARDs or arthritis medicines to see what would happen. As you know, the study was ended for futility. It did not work in preventing events, and maybe it, that didn't work because they did not require a high CRP to go into the trial. But there are a lot of offshoots of the CERT trial showing the efficacy of, of these drugs in other conditions, for instance. So one analysis is what the one I'm talking about here, and that is the toxicity of methotrexate. They enrolled, I think, 70, 4786 patients, uh, almost 4,800 patients, uh, and again, treated half of them treated with methotrexate, half of them not. Doses that we usually use, 15, 16 milligrams a day, everybody on background folic acid. Uh, at the end of the 52-week study, about a 16%, 17% increase in mild um, adverse events, nothing really severe. There were actually serious adverse events were um, very, very few and not significant here. Um, the most common things that they saw were, as you would expect, GI toxicity and nausea and, and oral ulcerations and things like that. That was almost a doubling of the rate. Uh, pulmonary side effects was actually elevated. Infection was elevated, most of those being very minor infections, URIs as opposed to pneumonias, although pneumonias were up as well. Uh, a doubling of the rate of skin cancers. That included uh, basal cell melanoma and non-squamous cell cancers with an SIR or hazard ratio of around two. So that's sort of um, something that's been out there before and this has confirmed it. If you're worried about the risk of pancytopenia, number one, use folic acid in everyone. Number two, know the data. The data says that it is increased with methotrexate, but it's a very, very low event rate. In the placebo population, it was three per thousand. Those on methotrexate, it was 13 per 100, giving you a hazard ratio of 2.1. So again, watch for it, but it is relatively rare. Pulmonary manifestations were mostly mild, uh, included a few cases of pneumonitis, but methotrexate-induced pneumonitis was rare. Seven cases per 100, actually 0.2 cases per 100 patient years, that's two per 1,000. It's a rare event. They only had seven cases in the whole study. The uh, other side effects to be worried about would be infections. They had mostly an increase in non-serious infections, mild URIs. Uh, skin uh, pneumonia was increased 26%, but it was not significant. Uh, and shingles, um, a slight increase in shingles as well, but again, not significant. So the bottom line here is in this trial, the drug was well tolerated, did very well. Uh, as far as safety, didn't work as, as far as cardiovascular outcomes. They had seven cases of possible methotrexate-induced pneumonitis. It's a very low event rate of, again, that's about two per 1,000 patient years. Um, a mild increase in infections, about 15%, a doubling of the risk of skin cancer. And the interesting thing was they did have cases of cirrhosis, very few, but guess what? Cirrhosis was only associated with mild to modest elevations of LFTs, not the big time elevations, which should bring you back to the original ACR guidelines on monitoring methotrexate, looking for a number of mild to moderate elevations, nine out of 12 over a year period, something along those lines that would then make you suspicious, work it up or discontinue the drug. Great presentations. The other presentation that Dr. Solomon has, I think it's today, it's a poster 2357 on the same subject. Again, that's it for this presentation on safety of methotrexate. Uh, tune in at yeah, 2357. Tune in for more videos here on Room Now.